welcome to our channel, Han and Kai. Today is July 28, 2021, and I just want to share to you our good news and from we are so happy to share to you guys that that the Denmark Danish Family Court uh, emailed us today this morning. I received an email at around 8.30 a.m. that our papers to do the wedding in Denmark is approved. Thank you, Jesus. And I am happy to share it to you that we are now approved and can do the wedding in Denmark. Yes, you hear it right. Anytime on their validity date that they gave us, they, we can now do the wedding in Denmark. But first, how did it happen? Why we decided to do the wedding in Denmark? And I want to share to you guys the story about this. Um, last, uh, last 2019, November 2019, the second time he visited me in Philippines, Kai, my fiancé, um, we planned to do it, the wedding in Philippines. We gathered all the requirements for the, for the wedding in the Philippines and process it all, we submit it to the Standesam, the city hall of Germany where my fiance is living. And then we really plan to do it by 2020 to do in Philippines. But then pandemic hit. And then, uh, so pandemic hit last 2020, we cannot do it. Uh, we have no choice to wait until we can do it. But Sad to say, until now, the pandemic still not gone. So please be careful, guys. And and yes, our paper still on them. Then, then, and then. Thus, before I come here, while we're processing my visa, we decided to do it in Germany. So if we, if I can pass the visa and enter Germany, maybe there's a chances that we can do it here in Germany. Because the papers, our papers from from Standesam already received them last July or June 2020. They have it from, uh, from November 2019 to June 2020. The documents for checking my Philippine documents is done. So, yes. And then but my but then because of pandemic we cannot do it so yeah my papers got expired and then we tried it now that i'm here in germany we tried it to do it here and then the the stand sum said, said us again that we need to submit some documents because my papers got expired like my cinemar and of course my old passport i need uh, i renew my my new passport now that i have they accept it but then the higher courts say that my Sinomar must return again to the Philippines for checking. So I'm already here in Germany last July 2 and they, they replied last second week that my, my Sinomar needs to send again to the Philippines for checking. And I was so sad to hear about that, that news because huh, there's no chances that if we send it again to the Philippines, it will take longer again to check. So, we decided, and me and my love, that on that date, on the second week, that this, the, the higher, uh, the Stanley Sam said that to us, we decided, and we tried to do it in Denmark. And, take note guys, you know them, I gave the Stanley Sam three signs more. Why? The first is when we submit it, 2019. Then it, 2020 again because pandemic. So I need to, to send a new one, 2020. And then now that they said that status, we can do the wedding and send it to this. But still, it depends on the higher court. If we can do it, we still, uh, we still tried to do it. So I sent another one, the latest and more. Then the stand, then the higher court say that the final final result from the higher court said we can uh, 
they need to send a, uh, they they need to send us the the cinemar again for checking before we gave before they gave us a legal capacity and that that's the the saddest day that i've heard when i come here last second week, week of 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 july and then and then and the next day me and my love opened about this and said why don't we try it to denmark this is the last chance while i'm here so i i i talk it to god i prayed it that lord why it happened but then he reminded and shared the verse to me in Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1 that Hannah there is a time for everything and the season for every activity under the heavens and also my favorite verse he shared it to me that in Isaiah 60 22 when the time is right I the Lord will make it happen at the moment this is not the right that's the answer of God to me and then the next I said Lord if this is your will, let it be, Lord. I will gonna, we will gonna try to do it in Denmark. So we have a contact, and then our contact prepared the the documents to us, and we will share it to you guys. But for the meantime, I just wanna share why we decided to do it in Denmark. So yeah, and we are so very much happy to share it that July 28, 2021, the Danish Family Court tell us emailed us today that we are now approve on our application and we can do the wedding and then Denmark on the validity date that they gave us so yes praise God really praise God for today that that there is a good news and I'm so really really blessed sabi nga sa left sa verse sa my, my favorite verse said in Isaiah 60 22 when the time is right Hannah me your Lord God will make it happen Walang makakapigil. If it's will, let it be. So, yeah. So, I am really, really happy and really, really praise God today that that God answered my prayer, our prayer, that we can do the wedding and really, really thankful. So, so thank you for today, guys. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. And I'm gonna share to you guys on the next video our our requirements, what are the requirements and preparation and process on how to do the wedding in Denmark. So thank you guys. Have a great day and enjoy your day. God bless you and bye bye. Off with their send guys. Bye bye.